Good morning, grandkids. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to say. Something has happened to his hair. It was dark. Now it looks like it's blonde. I, you can't go into the uh, character creation once you've set the character and change their hair and stuff like that. So I turned it off one time and his hair was dark. I turned it on the next time and his hair is blonde. This has never happened in any video I've ever made before. So I have no idea what happened. I wish you'd quit walking in front of me, Hoth. God. Anyway. Oh, and grandkids. This is the cup I'm going to be drinking out of. Isn't it cool? I don't remember if I bought that or if a, if a viewer sent me that. I don't remember. I've had it quite a while. Anyway, let's get on with the snake. I talked to a couple of people down there and um, they told me about a place farther on up the coast and I will show you where it's at. It's out here. That's called Voyager's End. But the place that we are going to try to find out there is called Dark End. So let's set out. I don't know how far away it's going to be. We've got to go far to our left. Or we could go around this north coast, I guess. Yeah, that might be easier. Let's do that. We're going to have to swim, guys. Jump up on some of these ice flows. We got to get around this big crag up here. Try to avoid that character. Holy cow. We got let's get up here and dry off a little bit. Mm, look at them waves coming in. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I like to get pictures of those. Look, what did I find? Whoa. What did you let happen under your statue, for heaven's sake? Who are you? Ellis Tay. I see he's made robes to sell. Let's take that to sell. And that and that and that. <laughs> we took his ring. Oh, I just about took all these clothes. I don't want the rest of that stuff. So 
Sorry, man. What is this? Take his scroll of fury. Uh, why didn't you use that scroll of fury against whoever did this to you? Shall we go up there and uh, get a blessing while we're here? Why did you let this happen right under your nose? Or chin? Or feet? Alright, are, are we anyway close to this place we're going to? Yes. Alright, we gotta go around a little bit more. You ignore me and I'll ignore you and you too. Now let's see what we can find. Look at the uh oh. Holy cow, he almost killed me. Ha, oh, you're a little late with that shot. He was already dead. But thanks. Well, he had a garnet. There is the ship. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? To get to Dark End? Let me look and see. Ah, yes. I think so. Yes. Oh. Uh, how am I going to get up on that ship? Very interesting. Very, very, very. I wonder, is the ship called Dark End? How do I get on it? Why do I have something checked way over there? Get that off of there. First lessons. Summon a flame astronaut in order to join the college. Uh, what the heck is that? I'm not joining the college. I'm over here to find Dark End. Oh, I see the lady up there. <coughs> All right. Let's see if we can do this. Hoth, are you coming? Thanks, Hoth. I think you did that. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! Bash it to death, Hoth. You get him. You get him. 
Thank you. You're a good man, huh? I hope you get to stay with me on this. Thank you, sir. I do hope you get to stay with me on this expedition. How come we only get one pile of stuff when there is... Oh, there's another one. I don't get my arrow. It's laying there frozen. Alright, how do I get on this boat? Well, 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 just like this. It's been here for a long time. This is cool. Look at the stuff piled up in front of this door. And I can't move it. How are we going to get in there? Where are you going, Hoth? Aha, uh -huh. I see how we're going to get in there. I might need this torch. I don't remember if I have one or not. Let's go down into the ship's interior. We can't get into the cabin, I guess, unless there's a stairway down here that goes up into it. Hey, it's dark down here. All right, let's see. All right, that's better. This was a prison ship. It's got jails down here. they have in these crates? Man, this place is a mess. I don't need food. I want to know what's going on. Tattered first mate log. All right, the third of Rain's hand. Fourth era, 198. Finally, we did it. After two weeks of hard work, we got the bloody thing inside the cargo hold. <gasps> what did they get inside the cargo hold? We had to remove nearly half the planks on the main and lower decks. Must have been something big. Even the Knight Commander himself went down on a daily basis to supervise. Whatever this thing is, it must be important. I want to see. We cast off tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Back to Northwell. 
It's a three-week journey in ideal sailing conditions. I hope this thing is worth the trouble. Here's hoping for fair winds and calm seas for us all. The Fifth Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 198. Quiet day yesterday, but the crew seems uneasy. Lots of rumors flowing around about the cargo. Some lads say it's cursed. I try to laugh whenever I hear about it in order to keep them from worrying too much. Maybe I should give them some extra duties to keep them occupied. I went down to the hole today to check things out. Chains are holding up and everything seems to be in order. Seventh of Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 198. Strangest thing happened today. One of the lads came in carrying on about the cargo glowing red. I went down to have a look for myself, but there it was, just as I remembered it. The poor matey, too much ale. I had a chat with the crew, and we laughed the whole thing off. They seem to have calmed down, but the poor bastards are very superstitious. No one wants to go down there anymore. The captain threatened to cut the whole crew's wage by 20 crowns unless everyone got back to work. Tenth of Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 198. Something weird is going on. Some of the lads are acting very strange, complaining of headaches, hearing ghastly sounds. All this talk of the cargo being cursed is making everyone on board paranoid. It makes, to make matters worse, a storm is coming. I suggested to the captain that we try to go around it, but he wants to head straight through it, bloody fool. I need the lads to clear their heads if we're going to make it through this. I went downstairs again to check on the cargo and felt a strange sensation come over me. I don't like this one bit. Twelfth of Rain's Hand, Fourth Era, 198. Well, we survived the storm, but got pushed far to the south. I don't know for certain where we are. The crew and I are exhausted. Couldn't get much sleep these past two days. Visibility is very poor and it's getting cold. I'm afraid we're way off course. Thirteenth of Rain's Hand. We saw ice flows in the sea today. Divines have mercy, it's freezing. Everyone on board is worn out. I saw it glow for a moment. Perhaps the lad was right after all, or maybe I'm just going mad. It matters not. The poor soul died in his sleep last night from the cold. Which poor soul? The one that had seen the red? So cold, it's getting harder to move around. The others are gathering around the cargo downstairs. They say it feels warmer down there. And that's the end. Whoa. Let's take this. Open the cargo hold door. Nothing's in it, but I see red glowing down in there. Look, look. Oh my God. Do we want to do this, Hoth? Hoth, where are you? Let's walk around this cage and see. Here, here's their sl They're all dead. I can't click on them to get any loot from them. 
They're all frozen to death. So, the only thing to do in here is to open this. Are we going to survive this? Will we survive this? Let's wait, guys until the next video and see what's going to happen when we open this door. All right, grandkids, I'm going to end it here. So next time when we come back, I can walk in there and see what happens. Goodbye, grandkids.